Hello, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, I will demonstrate how to create C++ CX console application using Visual Studio 2015 Update 3. Okay, let's get started. Start your Visual Studio. I am currently using Visual Studio 2015. 2015 Update 3. Okay, let's create an empty solution. I will create an empty solution, Visual Studio empty solution. I will name it CPPCX solution. I will name like this. Okay, I created empty solution. Now I will add a console console C plus plus win32 console application I will name it cppcx hello app I will name like this and I will accept all defaults console application finish okay the first the very first thing we have to do is we right click in solution in Solution Explorer, right click our project properties and you have to select all configuration. If it is not all, selected all configuration, then select all configuration. Then platform should be all platform and click C General here. Click Consume Windows Runtime Extension. It should be selected yes, ZW, this option. Click OK. We need to change another one. Code generation here. Minimum enable minimum rebuild here. No. Okay. Click apply. Okay. Then select stdafx this file here. We are including IO stream uh, using namespace std then I using namespace it will be a platform sorry plat plat platform like this save it now in the main in CPP file here, we have, we'll change it to a R array string handle handle LGS. Okay, here string handle H MSD here hello C plus plus CX like this. Double C R H M S C data and there like this. Save it. Now let's run. Control F five. Or well, you can build and run. Build. Let's see. Debug. Start without debugging. Control F five. Start without debugging. Okay. Then we have our first error message. It is saying the first error message could not find assembly. We have to find this assembly. This assembly. This is this assembly. Win platform win. So we have to find this assembly platform win. It is in here. Start on your C drive programs here Visual Studio here VC then VC package here you can find platform platform in this file so select this folder copy Ctrl C copy the folder come here right click here 
and general general additional using here click save it okay apply now we will build again control f5 again okay we have another message we have we have another error message saying it cannot find could not find this assembly will find this assembly this assembly is here here and windows windows kit windows 8 8.1 reference neutral here this is the file we are looking for so we have to copy this folder this path right click again then here again click below click below create one paste like this okay apply apply now run control f5 okay it's now working it's our first c plus plus cx component extension console application so for for our later use for so we please note that we ch we made changes here add additional using directive we will copy these two strings to a safer place for example i already did here since these two strings are used again and again these two passes are used again and again I made them into a single single one like this. I merged them like this. No. Semicolon tell like this. And I made it long. Copy. It. Copy. Then here system system environment variable you I will name it I will name it a uh, win runtime library DIR like this okay now okay click okay if you see it is created okay 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 after changing this here we have to restart it we have to restart visual studio okay i am restarting visual studio this is our previous solution okay so next time when you create visual studio uh Next time, when you create C++ CX component extension console application, you can do this much faster. Like right click, new project, and uh, C P P C X A P P. We will accept all defaults. Okay, now we will make it as a starter project like this. Starter project, right click. Uh, general. You, you make sure all compilation, all platforms select, selected here. ZW, apply. Code generation. No GM, apply. Then general once again here we can do like this here window runtime library dir like this 
then it will be resolved like this. Okay. Then apply, apply. Then here, as usual, and uh, and. Like this, save it, and here, here, Control F5. Now it's working. Okay, this concludes our bit, our first uh, C++ CX. CX means Component Extension Program, Console Program. Thank you for watching.